in this video, we're at St. Paul's Cathedral. Paul's Cathedral, it was officially completed in 1710 by Sir Christopher Wren. Sir Christopher Wren was an architect and he is buried actually in St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral attracts 1.7 million people every year. It's a world famous attraction here in London and it's actually situated in the city of London, which is the original part of London where the Romans came around 2,000 years ago and they made their settlement here what they called Londinium which was bordered by their Roman walls. Also buried in St Paul's Cathedral is Horatio Nelson and he is the person who has a statue in Trafalgar Square which you can see in my video. This building here is the tallest building for a place of worship in London. It is 365 feet long. This is St. Paul's Cathedral's dome, which you can do tours and you get excellent views of the skyline of London. And you can see the cross there is at the top. The building was architected by Sir Christopher Wren who architected many church buildings after the Great Fire of London that happened in 1666 and Sir Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister during World War II in England, he instructed the firefighters that St Paul's Cathedral must be saved at all costs as the Germans wanted to blitz and destroy this building, but it was saved. Another interesting fact is that when the Romans came, they settled here in what they called Londinium. And when they settled here, they built a place of worship to their goddess called Diana. So there has been a constant place of worship at this place for around 2,000 years. Some of you may remember the current monarch, King Charles III, he got married to Princess Diana in this building. You can get a tour of St. Paul's Cathedral inside, which you would have to book, but they do prayers inside there for free. St. Paul's Cathedral is named after Paul, the Apostle Paul from the Bible. He was previously named Saul, was a Jewish Pharisee, but he got converted by having a revelation and a vision of Jesus Christ on the Damascus Road.
when you see a street sign that has the city of london emblem on it this indicates that you are in the city of london which is formerly londinium which the romans settled here and based themselves here the city of london has its own mayor different to the mayor of greater london the city of london also has its own police force and is the financial center of london